Good morning guys, today is the first day of Matsuri Khan. Super excited, we've got a little bit of a smaller crew this time. It's just me, Xavier, Megan, and Nate. I don't think we've ever had a full crew at Matsuri Khan, so maybe it's just the curse of this Khan. Let's hit it, Matsuri Khan 2023. We just arrived, hit the restroom really quick, and now headed to check in. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. All right, guys, we just checked in. Gotta go do a cooler run really quick, and then we're gonna head down for registration, I guess. Guys, check it out. This is the key card to the room. It's pretty cool, but you can see knockoff Kirito right here. Knockoff Link. Otaku burger. Made out of real otakus. <laughs> it's made out of otaku? Yeah, it's right there. Where's they, that? What floor? It just says room service. They just grab somebody out of the convention, <laughs> grind them up, and say, hey, we'll make some money. All right, we're in line for registration. We waited like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. There was no line and now there's a line. It doesn't look that bad though. It's, it's not bad. bad. And it's moving. Guys, look at the size of this badge, man. The thing is, here. look next to my hand. This is the biggest badge I've ever seen. Look at Xavier's name. The Shadow Wizard money game. This is their first Matsuri Con. Nate will be here in about seven hours now. Fashionably late. This is one of the atriums, as you can tell. Normally there's stuff up there too. Been to Matsuri Con five times in the past. This is time number six. Actually, this is the con where I came alone once. Oh, is this the one where you slept? This is the one where I slept in my car. Yeah. I, I remember that one. Yep. Shut up. It's funny here. We think we found main events. This used to be the dealer's room last time I was here. So if they moved dealers out of here, it must be somewhere bigger, I would assume. The lighting's kind of, it's kind of a cool spot for it. So here on the second floor of the Hyatt, the wall's totally different. They totally changed the vibe in here. Oh, there's stuff in there too. Press, that's where I would have been if I would have bought press. Okay, we've arrived at the convention center. That's where the main events used to be, and that's where the rave was. And there's dealers in there. This is the line for the dealer's room we're passing right now. It looks big. They're using so much more. They are a little late opening, so that's not a good sign. So I've been to a lot of conventions where there's like another event happening at the same time, but I've never seen where it's like a, like a competing nerd culture event. How interesting. This is called PowerCon, by the way. I have no idea what it is. All right, Xavier Googled it, and it's a toy convention. We're walking down to some burger place that Megan wanted to go to? Bear Burger. Bear Burger? Yeah. Okay. You have to fight a grown bear for <laughs> A grown bear? I'm sure. No you think they'll... Bears. They won't let me have a kid bear? No kid bears. Oh man, it's gonna be rough. You gotta put the kids through, <laughs> you know, bad kid stuff to make them mean. A rough childhood, all that. <laughs> Dakota, I know you don't watch my videos, but I found the Arnold statue, bro. Dakota tried to tell me this was in Cincinnati. Dakota, come on, man. You can't underestimate my superior intellect. <laughs> a few inches later, that was really good. It's just called Bear Burger. It's literally right across the street from the convention center. You don't even have to go that far. Highly recommend if you're looking for something that I guarantee is better than the food court. I promise. The dealer's room is open and we are in. The We're near artists right now, so you know I'm not going to film artists. Even with dealers, more and more dealers are not wanting me to film their stuff. I understand with artists, but like mass-produced items, like figures, I don't really know why I can't film it, but it is what it is. This dealer's room is pretty big though. It's very spacious. That's very welcome. Guys, I gotta get back on my snapback game. Multiple people have come up to me remembering the channel, wanting pictures so far. It's incredible. I'm so glad I came back to Matsuri. I almost skipped it for Anime Magic. That would have been a huge mistake. Thanks to everyone who says hi over the weekend. Just wanted to give you all a quick shout out. Now back to our regularly scheduled adventure. When I was a kid, we had a Wheel of Fortune game. This slap, dude. It is cold. It's cold as balls in here. Guys, I don't know what this is actually for. If this is all for like, can I sit here? I don't know. Good and gather. Water. It's been about two hours. And we're Dude. finally, yeah, Cheese. we're finally leaving the dealer's room. We didn't even look at artists, just the dealers. Walking off that milkshake. It was really good. There's a lot in there. I know I'm going to go through it again. I got to go through artists still. Man, oh, it's much warmer out here. Yeah. Thank God. It's the Arctic in there. It's so cold in there. I was shaking all the way in the back. The next stop is the game room. If it's like it used to be, at least it's split into two halves. So you'll have the arcade side and then the console side. One piece. All 
All right, guys, this is the main game room. As you can see, there's nobody. There's a couple people playing back there. This is one of those game rooms, which I've only seen once before, where you have to like give your badge maybe, or you have to do something to get the controller. Maybe they had some controller theft last year. You guys remember that time that Drew told Nate that if he stuck his tongue in the water in this fountain, which now is dry, by the way, that he would buy him a pizza. And then Nate did it, flashback. I bet Nate that I'd buy him a pizza from Donato's if he stuck his tongue on that water. Three seconds. Three full seconds. Like You're three. gonna get sick, Nate. One Mississippi. I'm already sick. One thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Oh, Nate. Nate, what's wrong with you, bro? Spit that out. All right, we decided to go back to the room and just sit down, rest for a little while. We have benefit concerts. Yeah, oh, Xavier really Lord. got us watching the Gumby movie right now. We somehow watched this entire Gumby movie. It's definitely a ride. I mean, uh, it's on YouTube if you want to check it out. All right, now that Gumby's over, we're back downstairs. First place we're going, they have a night market. No idea what that means. I mean, I guess it's a market at night. It's not fully night out yet, but... Night market. They sell the shadow money. The shadow money? Shadow money on the night market. What is shadow money? Made it to the night market. It's definitely not as big as the day market. <laughs> Night market's much more uh, compact. It gives anime crossroad vibes. Guys, I made a purchase. The night market's cool because it's like the yard sale at Yomacon. Like, there's a bunch of used stuff and everything's cheaper. I don't really want to get figures and get anime stuff, but if I can get it for a lot cheaper and the quality's still good, like, this was great quality. 10 bucks, like, okay. We're heading back toward artists right now. I was gonna say something about it, but I just, like, my brain just died. Because you're overloaded on the Gumby. Yeah, too much Gumby. I can't take it. Dealer's room closed is at 8, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen one close that late. Guys, artists is definitely better than dealers. I don't like to show artists alley on video because it's people's individual work. I said it was going to close at 8 because that's what the book said, but they just gave us a 15 minute warning for it to close at 7. So, still pretty late, but not as good as I thought. So there was an accident and Nate got stuck in traffic. I'm not sure where he's at now. As far as we knew, the registration closed at 9, but now we're not sure because the dealers closed earlier than it said in the book. It looks like it does close at 9, so I guess we're all right. I'm gonna text Nate and see where he's at. So this hotel just has a little store, like a nerd culture store, that's just here on the rag, and they got figures back here, and they're like way better priced than in the dealer's room. I am here at the Cosplay Superhighway, where all the cosplay have to pass. Good lighting here. I was filming with that cosplayer who's a fan of the channel, by the way. Thank you for saying hi. But then Nate called me. He just arrived, so I'm going to meet him. Hey! hey what's, up? what's up, bro? Hey, welcome. Dealer's room just closed. Did you notice how big these badges are? They are huge. It's crazy. Okay, Makes we got to get your stuff up the stairs? Yeah. Nate is here. We're headed to meet Xavier and Megan. They're by the dealer's room, which is now closed. The night market was back there, bro, but it's we'll open till 11. You got time. As you can see, the foam sword fighting is happening behind me right now. A battle of epic proportions to decide the fate of the kingdom. It's really hard for me to tell who's on what side and who's winning. I think my bust will fill it out. Are you sure? I don't, I don't think so. I've got like tiny A cups. Just ran into another viewer whose name was Cody. What's up? Guys, we think we found a wish tree. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna do it. This is that tree where you tie your wish to the tree and then it comes true. Shadow Wizard Money Game don't have no wishes. We make it happen. If you're the one who wrote this, if you're watching this video, I hope you found happiness. Agreed. What did you write? I wish the Japan trip would be more epic than it's already going to be. Awesome. And I wrote, I wish for everyone's wish to come true. I don't know whether that makes you wholesome or a bitch. Paul people. Yeah, up here, right here. Snacky snacks. Well, Nate got an actual dinner. This isn't gonna be my real dinner. I'm just having fun. That looks good, man. It does look good. See you, Nate. Awesome. Nate, what is that thing, bro? Bro, we do it every single time. It's an airman. It's I think like it's staring into the depths of the sun. I think. <laughs> sickle <laughs> mode. Yeah, go sickle mode. Back of poop. 
There's a bag of poop on the floor. The bag of poop. We've all properly turned up. I drank some water. I'm nice and hydrated. We're headed to the rave in the main event. Actually, we're headed back to the room. We're not going in the rave yet. For the first time since I started filming cons in 2011, they will not allow me to bring my camera into the rave. What they actually said was that they're liable if something happened to the camera. They said if I was pressed, I could bring it in, but I've just been paying for my badges recently. But they'll allow me to bring my phone in. It's just because it's a large camera, so it's not allowed. It's so large. It's very large. Huh? The old one being so much bigger. The old one was bigger that I used to bring in. Yeah, it was way bigger. It is what it is. I'm not trying to be upset. I can still film on my phone. stepped out for a quick water break. A couple of weird things we noticed though. So first, obviously couldn't get in with the big camera unless I'm pressed. Also, no water in the rave. I had to walk all the way out here to find a water fountain in here. And they had water booths set up everywhere before. And yeah, it's just dead in there. It's weird. There's a lot of people at this con, but there's not many people in the rave. You wear yourself out. Shut a wizard money game. <laughs> But I think more people are coming in because that's the other weird thing. It is filling up. Yeah, it well, it started at 10, but the booklet says, and the, or the guide online somewhere says it starts at 11. I think it's the online schedule they made. I think the online is more accurate and the book one's just old and they, there's no, there's, it doesn't say anywhere that the times have changed. Yeah, there's nowhere. You have to look on their Instagram and that it'll say when things actually start, but who knows to like be checking their Instagram over and over. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I don't want to make a getting old joke. The, the viewers don't like it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah, parkour, parkour. Parkour! Nate. All right, we left the rave. We talked to the, I don't know, third DJ? Yeah, we're in the Hyatt, so there's water now. He told me a lot of interesting things. So first of all, he gave me a backstage pass for tomorrow. He said, gang gang. He respects the Shadow Wizard money gang. He really he respects the Shadow guys. Wizard money gang. He said that it's because of the convention center, that they make it really hard for them to have water, that they'll, they'll set it up, but they have to do it and that they charge over $100 per jug. Now I am just going off his word and I trust him. He could be exaggerating, I don't know, but even if he is, it would still be a ridiculous amount. Said the Hyatt's much easier, which I believe him because we cannot find water in that convention center. There's water everywhere in the Hyatt. Well guys, Friday has come to an end. Day one, I guess it's already Saturday because it's 1.30. So we're on to day two, but I'm gonna take an eight hour nap before I continue. Had fun, it was cool. The rave was completely dead, but the uh, DJs, hype. yeah, but hype. We all enjoyed it. We all had a really great time. Just goes to show, you know, even if there's a ton of people, but the people aren't feeling it, it's not good. But as long as everybody's feeling it, it's a good time. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm super tired, so. Good night, guys. See you. Shadow Wizard Money Gang.